Nova Scotia. Welcome back to Colorful Creations. If it's your first time here, I post every Sunday and Thursday morning. So if you subscribe, just make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications and then you won't miss any of my videos. So today I'm going to do a puddle pour and wreck it with a fork, I think, on a 24 by 24 canvas. It's a good size. So I'm going to do a series of puddles, like maybe one in the middle and some other ones and wreck it and then spin it out and Hopefully I get some kind of a crazy 3D effect, I'm not sure. I'm gonna use white, metallic blue, green, gold, I think. And um, we'll see how that works. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what I'm doing and then speed it up. Otherwise, this is gonna be really boring. So I'm just gonna do five puddles and alternate the colors back and forth in a pattern. This one is, um, this one is Titanium White by Montmartre. Next, I'm using a Purple by Montmartre, and I do have a little bit of Metallics mixed in with this, the Metallics, the Sergeant Art Metallics, just a tiny bit, just for a little bit of a shimmer. It's really pretty. All my paints are mixed how I normally mix them. There's a link to a video in the description if you want to see that. They're pretty thick though, but um, it works really well with this type of technique. Um, the next one I'm doing is Pepio Iridescent Gold. It's my first time trying it really. Well, I tried it the other day and a lot of it got lost, so we'll see what happens here. Um, these metallics seem to, they're heavy, right? So they, they sink down through the other non-metallics and sometimes you lose them, but we're gonna try it and see what, how it, see how it goes. Um, next one is Metallic Blue. This is by Sergeant Art. It's really pretty. It shows up really well. But again, I'm, I'm worried it's gonna sink down to the other colors. So the next one, I'm just gonna put some more titanium white around here and I'm gonna do this for the negative space throughout. Hopefully not everything sinks through it, but I'll just um, circle each one here so that I just want everything to kind of go as even as possible and it helps them flow evenly and not kind of go lopsided. So next I'm adding titanium white in my puddles. This is going to be one of the colors I layer throughout. So we'll just put this in these four or five, five puddles here. And there's one left. It's um, aqua green mixed with some metallic green. So the aqua green is from Montmartre and the metallic green is from Sargent Art. It's just a little bit, just give a little bit of a shimmer. It might be a little hard to see off camera this far away, but hopefully if it doesn't sink completely, we'll be able to see it in the end. So these are the colors and now I'm going to alternate through these, the same range, the same pattern that I just did here. Um, so I'm just going to speed this up and then I will come back at the end after I did all the puddles and I'll show you how I wreck it with the fork. All right, so here's the fork I'm using. It's just a plastic fork, nothing special. I'm just gonna draw some lines through and we'll spin it out and see what happens. Oh, I'm nervous. I never know what to do here. I guess I'll just do some zigzags. Yeah, I'm just gonna do some zigzags and hope for the best.
All right, let's have a quick look at the wet result. Turned out pretty good. I am a little disappointed that my four puddles on the outside just flew away, but the inside looks pretty neat. Um, I kind of lost my gold like I expected, I guess, but the other colors are really showing up. Um, the white didn't take over too much, but it is a lot of it there. But um, I'm really liking these layers and this, this kind of neat effect. It's, it's really different. And here's the dry results. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I guess there is um, enough gold showing that everything, there's a lot of contrast. So like I can see the gold, the blue, the green, the white, everything's there and it's uh, pretty unique. What do you think? Like, do you like it, hate it? I don't know, like everyone has a different opinion, I guess, but I'd love to hear from you. Um, this will be on my website if you would like to purchase it. I am always up to um, offers or anything like that. I put a suggested price on there, but um, I am going to offers as well. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Thank Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.